All right. Uh, have you ever considered running in the New York City Marathon? Yes, I've even pledged publicly that I would do it. Yeah, most people do run every year. Most yeah. people. Most people. Well, a lot of people run. And some people just run to be healthy every day. What are we talking about? Our next We're guest. Running. running. Our next guest is Pat Farmer. He <laughs> runs a marathon, my understanding is, every single day. Just about. He what? runs a marathon every day. He is training to run from the North Pole to the South Pole. Geographically, uh, I guess that's possible. You can run from northern Canada all the way down to. What, Chile? Pat Farmer is our guest on Good Day New York. Congratulate. Welcome to Good Day New York. Good day. How are you? Yeah. Nice Very to, good see, to you. see you. Where do you live? Well, I'm based in Sydney normally, but at the moment I'm up on 118th uh, West, uh, up there in Harlem. Very nice. So tell yeah. me, how does this work? What are you doing exactly? Well, I'll do a run that will kick off in the North Pole and finish at the South Pole. So from one end of the earth through to the other. Um, it's to do two things. One is to do something that nobody else has ever done before. And the second thing, of course, is to raise awareness around the fact that we need to get clean sanitary conditions and fresh drinking water through to communities via the, the International Red Cross worldwide. When do you start? How long will it take you? I'll kick off the last week of March. I'll be dropped into, uh, uh, into the North Pole by a Russian helicopter and it will take 11 months. I'll do two marathons per day every single day. From, 52 miles a day? Uh, yes, 52 miles oh a day. Oh my goodness. From Yellowknife all the way through to Terra del Fuego, uh, down the bottom of Chile of course. Uh, and, um, and then when I'm on the ice I'll do around a marathon a day uh, in the North Pole and the South Pole. Do you ever walk it or are you just always well, running Well it's a it? race against time because you can only get into the South Pole at certain times, you can only get into the North Pole at certain times. So I have to race it as fast as I possibly can. You are starting from the actual North Pole. The actual the North actual Pole. Top. And I'll finish at the U.S. Army base in the actual South Pole. Now, you'll have to take a boat at some point. Uh, yes. Um, where? What will happen is I'll fly rather than take a boat because it's the quickest way across the water. Um, because I need to run every single day. There are and no days off. Yeah, how many hours a day do you run? Well, approximately, uh, I'll give myself approximately 12 hours to complete the 80 kilometers or 50, 52 miles a day every you day. You must be in great shape. This is incredible. Uh, how old are you, sir? Yeah, I'm, well, that's a rude question. Okay, I <laughs> I'm a woman, perhaps, but yeah. daddy, guy. Oh, All right, fine. What, do you have a family? Uh, yeah, I've got, well, I've got two young children that I've dragged with me from pillar to post all around the world when I've been doing this, these types of things. But they're teenagers now, so they're back at school. And unfortunately, my wife passed away uh, when they were only very little. My son was 10 months old. My daughter was two years old. Mm. So, um, you know, I've got nobody to tell me, you can't do that. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. And the training that you're, that you're doing, the training uh, one marathon a day? How, uh, yeah, tell yeah, us your training regimen. Yeah, I, I run around Central Park, New York. Uh, in the in the blizzardy conditions, which I've experienced over last month, everybody has over last month, uh, and of course I do a marathon a day uh, just for training. What can we do to support you? Well, just click on the, onto my site, um, visit poletopolerun.com, and get behind the International Red Cross. They do wonderful work both throughout the world in every country. Uh, but in particular, uh, these water projects. I mean, there's a child that dies every 15 seconds from, from clean drinking water and lack of clean sanitary conditions. Where will you sleep? Um, basically, on the side of the road, we'll have the camper van, and, uh, and I, will, I will, where I finish running at the end of each day, of course, on the ice, I'll, I'll just pitch a tent. And that's why I've got to get used to dragging the tyres. And, of course, everybody over New York has had a great laugh at me dragging these tyres down <laughs> through Harlem and into Central Park and around there. Uh, each day as well. Will anybody uh, be with you, supporting you? Yeah, there will be a film crew that will cover this from start to finish. The first time it's ever been done in a region like the North Pole. We've actually uh, um, got a satellite company on board to expand the width so that we can send video out of the North Pole. People will watch me day after day uh, via the internet and see this as, as it unfolds. So, as I like to say, when I see a polar bear, you will too. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. One more thing. You can actually, you can remain on foot the entire time from the North Pole all the way down through South America. Uh, I guess there's a bridge over the Panama Canal, right? Um, well, I'll go through the Darien Rainforest. Uh, so, so. Wow. so you're on your feet the whole time? Yeah, I'm so on my feet the whole time. Uh, well, Until uh, Chile? And, or, yeah, yeah, or, and, yeah, and of course there's two plane trips involved in this over the oceans. Terrific. Well, we wish you all the best. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Pat Farmer. Wow. 11 months on the road. All right. Come back after you finish. Well, I'll stay in touch with you during the course of the run. That'd yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be encouraging you. you. Good luck. Not every step of the way, because <laughs> you got a lot of steps, but occasionally. All right.